What it is, y'all, it is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you today with more Damachi, and today we're talking about Record Buster. Record Buster is back, and actually is back with Riveria, and she is a dark type, so obviously you want to use light units here. Now, the couple things you want to need to know right away, uh, she does do stun, so you need to put stun anklets on everybody, and she is resistant to magic, so for the most part you want to use physical. That said... There's my team. It's mostly magical. <laughs> it's, it's just legit mostly magic. Um, the really nice part about uh, taking out Riveria is that while she removes her buffs, she does not. Re she re she removes your buffs. She does not remove her debuffs. So uh, once you get the debuffs out, you're good to go. And a lot of these units nowadays you have to rebuff anyway to get the extra damage out. So we're gonna be in very 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 good shape now. Team should need, need no introduction. We, of course, have the Light Harahime on slot 2. Slot 1 is going to be uh, Lene for the 33% SH charge. Slot 2 is going to be the Light Harahime. Light Harahime gives a wonderful boost here with her SA. That is light damage 80%. So, yeah. Yeah. So, we're going to do her SA and uh, the OG Harahime SA on basically the same turn. Uh, she has 40% HP regen as long as, as well as as well with that, but we've got a lot of a lot of other HP regens on the team as well too, so it's not a huge deal. I do have uh, Colonel Demeter tied to her. Colonel Demeter does reduce magic resistance. And remember, because magic is so, I believe it's up 50%. We'll double check when we get in there, but I believe it's up 50%. Uh, Colonel Demeter is going to help just kind of chisel that down so we can do a little bit more damage with our magic units. You will also notice I'm using the new-ish Lena over there, and that's because she is absolutely insane. She still hits for wonderful numbers. Um in this event she's pretty wild and then of course i have this seer attached to her there we go uh summer color seer summer color seer does magic 20 percent for all allies and wind and attack damage but i'm sorry wind and light attack damage plus 15 percent obviously we're using all light units so having that extra 15 percent would be really really nice now don't worry about alfia being off here i know that even though Seer is in the front, Alfia being off, she's not going to get buffed by Seer. That's fine. Uh, frankly, Alfia is going to come in for one turn and leave anyway. Now, that brings me to Anya. Anya is a great unit. If you didn't get her during the collab, or, or say the collab, if you didn't get her during the New Year's event and the rerun, it's a great time to go get her. She'll be going away really soon, and she's fan freaking practically made for this event. Good buff, good debuff. All around is fantastic damage. And, of course, I've got Erebus tied to her because Erebus does. If I can get him to pull up here. A, he's got wonderful stats. Uh, he doesn't really favor. He favors physical slightly over magic, but it's not end of the world what he does. Uh, light resist down 20%. Strength and magic 20% for whoever he's tied to. In this case, that being Anya. Anya's going to get 20% strength. And he's going to reduce light resist. So, bam. Couldn't be happier with the team. Now, Alfia's going to come in for the 40% uh, debuff, 40% uh, light resistance debuff, and then leave. So that's why she's on the team. And I do have Fiesta on the team to reduce damage a little bit, because otherwise Haruhime has a little bit of a survival problem. A lot of that having to do with Finn, but i got to find a place to put Finn on the team, and it's about the best spot for him at the moment. So let's get rid of Auto Battle, because that would have ruined our whole day. All right, and let's run through this. Now, turn one, pretty straightforward. I'm gonna have to just have to do our general buff stack, nothing too wild, and go. All right, so we're gonna take a little bit of early damage. You do want HP regen on the first turns because I'm not bringing Haruhime until later. Um, you will survive with HP regen. You don't necessarily need the heals, but just be a little cautious there. Now, Alfia's going to come in. She's going to debuff uh, Light Resistance 40%. I didn't look at what Riveria's got, but you'll notice that now Magic is down 30%, and it was initially 50%, whereas Light is down 90%. So like I said, 
as unfavorable as it is to use a magic unit here, light is low enough, it doesn't really matter. All right, so we're gonna debuff single target damage. We're gonna debuff magic resistance because light's already taken down. And we're gonna debuff physical resistance. Let's go. All right, finally, on this turn, I'm gonna go ahead and do you a Suga with Haruhime. That's gonna basically replicate everything a turn out. It gives me one extra turn to kind of think about what we're doing. I don't need Akane in this turn because I don't need the debuff until next turn anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and do you a Suga on this turn, give myself a little bit of breathing room, okay? And then basically from that point, we're gonna do skill three all the way across the board with the exception of her. Now she will remove, uh, I believe she removes her magic buff. Yeah, she removes her magic buff, so I'm going to go ahead and do just another attack so I can do her SA uh, a little bit later on. And then, of course, Anya is going to kind of do it. So we got Yosuga, Mayfly, one way straight, and Shinobi Strike. Let's go. All right. Now, turn four is where it gets a little dicey. Turn four, you need somebody that removes magic buffs. Thankfully, skill three with Anya fits that bill perfectly. Uh, Lena is buffed out, and I'm going to go ahead and do it one more time. Um, it would be preferable to rerun her big buff on turn uh, turn three, but I didn't do it. It was a mistake. It is what it is. All right. The rest of these units are just going to basically do their top dog hits. Let's go. All right. <sighs> if we don't move, remove magic right there, that is going to freaking hurt. And it already didn't feel too great. So on this turn, normally I'd want to do Sheikah. I'm going to go ahead and do... Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't do Akane. I needed to do Akane in turn four. That's why it hurt. Need that 40% debuff. That's fine. I'm going to do it on this turn. And I should hopefully be okay. We're going to do everybody else's rebuff. Let's go. Um, that 40% debuff is really, really, really important for longevity in the game. So don't forget to do that turn four or whenever you can. Uh, I did survive it, but by a slim margin. All right. So everything else is out there. So now on this turn, I can once again go in here and do our top dog hits. I'm going to do a base level attack with uh, Lena because I don't have any MP regen on here and Lena will just rip through her MP like crazy. So we're just going to basically do that. Everyone else is going to do their big hit. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Turn seven, I'm going to use Sheikah. That, normally I would do that turn five. Uh, but if turn five is a little too dicey, I can do a turn seven. In this case, I didn't remove the magic buff. Naughty me. But now I'm going to go ahead and do Sheikah just to give myself a little bit of MP healing. I'm going to need that MP healing for the next turn. Uh, everybody else is going to basically do their big attack. Uh, Lena is a great unit, but I'm going to keep... I'm going to hold on to her for something a little bit later. So let's go. All right. So our SA gauge charge is going up. That's good news. And I will have to use Suga on this turn and Shinobi Strike to make sure we're getting rid of the magic buffs. Because if we don't, like I said before, we are going to hate life. All right. So he's got one turn left. I could rebuff double tap, but I don't think it's really needed. So I'm just going to basically do that. Yeah. It's a weird combination of events, but believe me, it works out. All right. Survive. I've had a lot of problems with RNG failures on this, but it looks like we finally did it. So that's good news. Now, uh, our buffs are once again gone. So this turn, I'm going to go ahead and do Sheikah for the... The rebuff. 
I'm going to do Haruhime's skill 1. Uh, then everybody else is going to get skill 3. Yeah, let's go. Alright. So, can't quite do an SA here, so I'm going to go ahead and do Yosuga one more turn. Get a little bit of MP out. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and do everybody's big hit. Pretty straightforward stuff. Okay. Um, I should don't need that because he's already... Yeah, he's already buffed. So, yeah, let's go ahead and see what happens here. Now, turn 12 is a big deal. Turn 12 is kind of the turning point in this whole thing. Uh, I really would prefer to get a quad SA on this turn, but it's just not in the cards with my team build. I've got to figure out what to do to rectify that, but it is what it is at this juncture. So I'm going to do these two SAs. Now I've got a hard decision here. I could do Haruhime's. I'm oh, sorry. We're going to do Haruhime's and we're going to do Hanya's. I could do... Uh... Not Tiona, but anyway, I could do hers, and uh, I don't know why it's escaped. I even said like four times this video. Anyway, old man brain. And we're going to do that. Let's see what happens here. Alright, so remember, this is going to give 100% strength and magic, and then... Uh, the other Reverie is going to give 80% magic, to, or I'm sorry, 80% light to everybody. So it's a big buff. I really wish I could have done a quad and gotten a little more damage out, but just sadly it wasn't in the cards. And yes, placement of your units, uh, basically they're going to do it in the order that they drop into the game. So it's nice to have them on the front line. Uh, but yeah, you basically are going to want to just do that anyway. All right. Alright, let's see what she does. Nice! Almost 3 mil. Very nice. Very nice, girl. Very nice. Alright. Now, it does mean I'm going to say some SA. I really wish there was a quad. i got to figure out a way to get a quad out of that, but it just doesn't seem to be happening thus far. But thus far, I'm very happy with my numbers, too. So, i got very few complaints. All right. Perfect. All right. So I'm just going to leave him right there. Haruhime. We're going to do Yosuga. I'm going to have to, with Lena, do that one. And with... Hmm. Yeah, no, we'll be good. We'll be good. Let's go. Now, the goal here is to build up a double SA gauge charge. Jury's out on whether we could pull that off, but it seems very likely at this juncture, so long as we don't get killed, which is kind of a feat in and of itself. All right. So, we will need to do Sheikah one more time. We got to buff uh, Haruhime's MP. We can't let that run out. That will not be good. And we're going to do all the rest of this just kind of. Hmm, kind of the way I feel we should. So let's go ahead and take a look. A lot of weird attacks going on. It's hard to tell who's doing what. But let's just keep at it. Turn 14. Uh, the goal would be to get a double SA. Now, she did skill three there, and that does remove her... No? Is her light attribute damage still up? I thought it removed her light attribute damage. Ah, there it is. So, I'll have to do th that, because I'm going to want to do this next turn. All right. So, Yosuga, we're going to do Mayfly. One away straight and double fire. Let's go ahead and do it. 
Now there are there is a little bit more damage left on the table in this team. There are a couple of traits that I could have modified. Um, many of you have probably clued in on that by now, but it's fine. It is a thing. All right. So we have a double essay. That's good news. We're going to double essay with her and Anya. Uh, everything else is should be good. Uh, see, she's got magic 100%. She's got light damage 80%. She is golden. Let's do this. Let's see what kind of final number we get out of this record buster. What you got, fam? 2.6. Very nice. Very nice. And let's compare to what uh, what Anya can do. Anya, I think, is one of the better uh, single target light units. So let's just compare. Okay. That didn't really, didn't really mean anything to me, but sure. All right, let's see what our number is. Nice, almost 500k. I mean, we are like just a tiny bit of RNG away from 500k. So that's really, really, really nice. So there you go, guys. That's pretty much Record Buster in a nutshell. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section down below. Like, comment, and share. I'm going to be back at you guys with more Damachi really soon.